thought we understood the universe. We thought space expansion was settled science. But we were wrong. The James Webb Space Telescope, in combination with Hubble, has just delivered the most disturbing confirmation in the history of modern astronomy. The universe does not behave the way we believed. Decades of cosmological theory are falling apart as once consistent measurements are now in direct contradiction. And what's worse, there may be a force beyond the known universe altering the laws of physics themselves. This isn't just a crisis in theory. This is a complete collapse of our understanding of space, time, and possibly reality itself. Join us on the enigmatic journey of why. As we delve into another mystery surrounding James Webb Telescope's final discovery at the edge of the universe changes everything. It started as an ambitious idea. Combine the near-infrared power of the James Webb Telescope with the visible light precision of Hubble. The result? A clearer, deeper look into the early universe than ever before. But what astronomers found was not beauty. It was contradiction. They discovered a massive galaxy. ZFGS 7000. 329 so large and so old that it shouldn't even exist according to current cosmology. The early universe didn't have enough matter or time to form such a structure. And this was just the beginning. More galaxies emerged, black holes appeared, too massive for their age. And then, the most devastating data point of all, the universe is expanding at different speeds depending on where you look. For years, astronomers used the Hubble constant to calculate how fast the universe is expanding. But now, James Webb and Hubble have delivered completely incompatible results based on direct observation of Cepheid variable stars and distant galactic formation. Adam Rees, Nobel Prize winner and lead researcher, declared, If measurement errors are ruled out, the only explanation left is that we fundamentally misunderstood the universe. This mismatch isn't a small discrepancy. It's a chasm. One that destroys the foundation of the Big Bang expansion model. Some call it tension. Others now call it what it truly is. A crisis. Just when the scientific world was reeling, astrophysicist Rajendra Gupta made a radical claim. The universe isn't 13.7 billion years old, it's nearly 27 billion. According to Gupta, we've misunderstood the nature of space itself. He argues that light doesn't just stretch, it hides information. And that's what we've been interpreting as dark matter and dark energy might not exist at all. His model eliminates the need for mysterious cosmic forces and instead suggests that our very idea of the vacuum is wrong. If true, that would mean everything from Einstein's general relativity to quantum field theory needs rewriting. Other physicists now suggest something even more bizarre, that our universe is being influenced by something outside of it. They propose that the irregular expansion could be due to gravitational forces from a neighboring universe pulling on ours from beyond the observable boundary. This isn't science fiction. It's based on real mathematical modeling and observations made by James Webb and Hubble. And it would explain why the farther we look, the more broken the laws of physics appear. The conclusion. We may not be alone. Not just in space, but in reality itself. For years, dark energy was the mysterious force believed to push the universe apart. It was a placeholder, an elegant patch to explain the accelerating expansion observed in deep space galaxies. But now, James Webb's data is tearing that idea apart. If expansion varies by region, and if galaxies are forming faster and earlier than expected, dark energy may not exist at all. Instead, something else, something undetected, may be influencing the structure of the cosmos. And if dark energy collapses as a theory, 
it means 70% of the known universe was a miscalculation. That's not a correction. That's a cosmic identity crisis. While independent researchers publish papers and speak to the press, NASA, ESA, and other space agencies have been unusually quiet. No formal crisis declaration. No retraction of the Lambda CDM model. Just carefully worded statements about data complexity and early surprises. Insiders report closed-door meetings among international cosmology councils. One leak memo reportedly describes this event as a paradigm destabilization point, not to be communicated until public risk is assessed. Why the secrecy? Because admitting that the universe no longer behaves as expected would change everything, from science funding to philosophy, religion, and geopolitics. Some physicists now believe that these inconsistencies aren't about space. They're about time. According to this model, time may not be linear across the universe. In certain regions, time itself could be flowing at a different rate depending on the density of matter, vacuum fluctuations, or even interactions with alternate dimensions. This would explain why distant galaxies appear older than they should be, because they might be living on a different clock. If true, this fractures the very idea of a universal timeline. It means the Big Bang wasn't a single event. It may have been a ripple. And we're just one wave in a larger, multidimensional storm. One final theory, rarely discussed outside the most advanced research groups, is gaining traction. It's called the Cosmic Phase Transition Model. According to this theory, universes may undergo shifts in physical laws just like water freezing into ice or vaporizing into gas, and the strange data from Webb and Hubble could be signs that our universe is on the brink of one. These aren't glitches. They're precursors. And if the phase shift happens, whether it takes a thousand years or a thousand seconds, the laws of physics could rewire in an instant. Reality as we know it would reboot. And nothing, not light, not gravity, not even time, would be the same. For over a century, we believed we were unraveling the universe, measuring its expansion, mapping its birth, writing its laws into stone. But the James Webb Space Telescope has revealed a deeper truth. We weren't discovering the universe. We were only seeing what it allowed us to see. Now, those illusions are collapsing. The laws we trusted are breaking apart. The constants are no longer constant. I may not be moving forward equally in all directions. And the space between galaxies? It may not be expanding into nothingness, but into something far more complex and far more alive. What we thought was dark energy may be nothing. What we call background radiation may be a signal. And the expansion we assumed was random may be the result of a force we still don't dare name. We're no longer asking how the universe began. We're asking if it's still beginning. Or worse, if it's about to end. Thank you for joining us today on Why. Let us know your opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Keep waiting for another exciting Y adventure. And until then, stay curious and stay tuned. This is Y signing off.